everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I want to talk Tay Gowan. Tay Gowan deserves a shot. I think he deserves a shot to be CB2, and I would give my reasons why. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Let's get into it. Let's get into it on um, Tay Gowan. Also, before I get into this Tay Gowan thing, I'm taking a lot of heat for my last video compared to Compare Jordan Davis to um, Aaron Donald. I don't see Aaron Donald don't play a lot of snaps, but Aaron Donald know how to get to the quarterback. Now, a lot of people is like, he's a plug guy, Jordan Davis. Maybe he could just clog up the hole and just become a linebacker's best friend. I'm cool with that, but I think he's going to take his game to another level. So when he has about like four sacks, five sacks, you, you guys are going to go back to that video. Well, back to Tay Gowan, right? Tay Gowan, I think, can be CB2. I think he really can. Um, You don't get a guy like him. You don't trade Zach Ertz for him to not give him a shot. To not give him a shot. Um, Tay Gowan, what, ran a 4 4 4 6 one, like 186 or like 6 2. So he's big. He's not slow, but he's not the fastest either. But I think he's fast enough to keep up with some of these wide receivers in the league. I think he has the height to keep up with these receivers in the league. And when you thought about that draft, to me, the two teams that had the steal of the draft, the draft that Tate Gowan got drafted, it was the Eagles to me, Kenneth Gainwell, who constantly was dropping, who I thought was going to get picked before, and Tate Gowan. Gowan was a guy, I'm like, why the Eagles didn't get him at that pick? Why? Because when you thought about the cornerbacks in that draft, and a lot of people are forgetting because Patrick Sartan had one hell of a year. Before J.C. Horn got hurt, he was having one hell of a year. But you thought of Caleb Farley, you thought of J.C. Horn, you thought of Patrick Sertan, you thought of Grant Newsom, and the fifth guy was Tate Gowan. And the reason why he's not... The reason why he fell so far in the draft, actually, is because he took his senior year off due to the pandemic. Let me say that. Due to the pandemic, he took the year off, and that's why he dropped. It wasn't nothing to do with his game, nothing to do with his injury. They just wanted to see, can he do that again? Because 2019, he had a good year. I think he had like two picks, um, a couple pass deflections, and a lot of quarterbacks wasn't throwing his way. But he was easily like a third round pick. He's like a third round pick at least um, that year. But he fell because due to circumstances, like he didn't want to play. Pandemic was going on and I respect his decision. But Arizona picked him because he was the best player available. Like, well, bring him to Arizona. Let's see what he can do. No, Arizona didn't really love him. Arizona wasn't a place for him. But I think he, he can feel something with the Philadelphia Eagles. He could definitely fill a hole for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he's better than Mario Goodrich. I, I think he is. I think he's better than the cornerbacks. I think he's easily CB2. Even over Zach McPherson. He was projected to go higher than Zach McPherson. So, I think I, I like Tate Gowan. Big body guy who, who can really, really play. And you don't trade Zach Ertz for a guy that's just going to sit on the bench. You got to give him a shot. You have to give him a shot, man. And I think he can do it. So I've been looking at the corners and corners. I'm like, okay, we get Azaria Rose and those guys. My thing is, and I think Mike said this too, if you bring one of those veterans in and... Tay Gowan or one of those dudes beat him out. Cool. I mean, I like that idea too. And I wouldn't be mad if we go get another corner. But I think Tay Gowan is ready. I really think he is. I think he's hungry for a shot. I think he deserves a shot. But we see, or at least me, a lot of people crapped on Steven Nelson. I see a veteran guy come in that really just played this role. But I think Tay Gowan, he's going to have that hunger. To show why he deserves CB2. Show why he deserves to play that spot. Show why he deserves another shot 
with the Philadelphia Eagles, even though he didn't get his shot with the Arizona Cardinals. I think he deserves a shot. If not, bring a veteran, and let's see what happens from there. But right now, I think he earned a shot and deserves a shot. And um, I got to talk about my guy, Quez Watkins, man. Quez Watkins is the perfect segue of guys who deserves a shot, right? We're talking about a guy that was drafted, what, like sixth round, fifth round? I can't even think of it off the top of my head. And he's saying rent is due. We saying this guy can be a top guy in the league. Um, Quez is the forgotten man. He's the forgotten man. This dude has 600 plus yards. We was begging for a receiver to get over 500 yards. And um, I wanted to bring Quez into this video because when I think of Tay Gowan, you got to give him a shot. Quez took advantage of his shot. I think Tay Gowan, if you give him that shot, he's going to take advantage. And that's no diss to like Zach McPherson or nothing. But I think Tay Gowan is better than him, at least at CB2. At least there, because I think Zach is just too small. Simple as that. But Tay, Tay Gowan got the size, can hit. Um, ball Hawk can stay with a lot of receivers in the league. So, yeah, man, I just think he deserves a shot. And salute to my guy, Quest. He's working as always. Rent is due. When I start seeing more videos on him, of course, I'm reposted. But Quez been low-key. He, he's being low-key. A lot of people's not talking about him. And he's going to show up and show out, man. Don't forget about Quez. That's all I can say. Don't forget about Quez. Because Quez bailed out Jalen Hurts on some bad passes, too. Um, But Quez did drop a key pass against the Broncos. But we still won that game. It is what it is. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about Tate Gowan? Do he deserve a shot? And Quest working. Quest is just working. I didn't really get too deep about Quest because I always talk about Quest. But this is Al Cabana Analyst. Ghost.